Hey everyone, welcome to today's exciting new vlog. I told you guys when we got our Bronco in that we were going to do a little tour, show you, give you a really good thorough look through of what the 2021 Ford Bronco looks like. We waited a year and a half for ours. We picked the build when, right when they came out and it finally came and it arrived earlier than we thought so we are so excited. We've had it for about a week now, a week and a half and it has been so much fun to drive. We're so excited to do family adventures, camping, all sorts of things that we love to do with our new Ford Bronco. I will start this video by saying this is not sponsored at all. Everything you see in this video about us talking about our Bronco um, is completely honest. It We bought this vehicle with our own money, like it is not sponsored. <laughs> this is our honest opinion and how we like the Bronco so far. Now in saying that, I will say that my husband does work for Ford, um, but that doesn't really sway our opinion on the Bronco. So the story behind this is kind of my husband grew up in a 81 Ford Bronco and it's kind of like this nostalgic thing. So when they announced that they were going to release a new version, an updated version of the Bronco, my husband was all over it. He was so excited and as soon as I saw it I fell in love. It looks like such an amazing adventure mobile. Like I just just picture us having awesome family adventures and making tons of memories in this vehicle so we knew the minute it got announced that we were gonna get our hands on one and we were gonna buy one um, so although my husband does work for Ford and yes I do make YouTube videos we are not sponsored or and this is just an honest review of people who love the product and bought it does that make sense so this video is actually going to be my husband. He's going to take it away since he is, this is his specialty, he works for Ford. Uh, he's like details guy. He is the one that uh, teaches people about specs and goes through vehicles. Car talk is not my thing. So I'm gonna hand you guys over to him in a minute and he's gonna walk you through our brand new Ford Bronco. Now, this is a family review, I suppose. I know that I'm gonna get a lot of people that are not part of my channel who are just interested in the Bronco. There's a really big fan club of the Ford Bronco, and if any of you are here just to see Bronco chat and see a walkthrough of our Bronco, then hello. I'm gonna give you the specs before I hand you over to my husband, and here is what exactly we purchased. So it's a 2021 Ford Bronco. We got the Outer Banks package. It's a four door in the color Cyber Orange, which we're super excited about. We wanted a really bold, fun color. It has a 2.7 liter EcoBoost. With the Lux package, it is a hard top and it's leather. <laughs> so that is all the details, all the specs for you. Um, and now I'm gonna hand you over to my husband and he can take it away. Hello, it's me. You don't normally see just me. Um, I'm at work right now and Raymo asked me to give you guys a tour. Normally when I get home, it's too late to actually film one of these because it's dark by then. Um, because it's been getting brutally dark really quickly. Like it's uh, four o'clock right now and you can already see the purples and the reds and stuff starting to shine through the sunlight. But uh, this is our new Bronco. I picked it up last week. I've spent a little bit of time with it. Um, Rainbow asked me to uh, kind of walk you guys through it considering it's literally my job. So I'm here to show you some stuff. I switched the camera around so I can actually do this a uh, little easier and not get my big head in the way all the time. So here it is, my beautiful cyber orange Bronco. Now I'm gonna ask you guys to put down in the comments below whether you think this color is orange or yellow. I see a lot of kind of uh, comments either way from people that I've, have seen it in real life. Um, there's a lot of metallic in the paint and it really shines a lot more yellow in the sunlight, but uh, especially here in the shade, I feel like it's an orange personally, but uh, let us know down below in the comments kind of what you guys think. So I want to show you a couple neat things with it um, because we are out here in Canada. Uh, it, remote start is 100% necessary. LED headlights are in this thing, so it's super bright. Uh, at night, which again is super important. We do like doing a lot of adventuring and driving and stuff like that. And, you know, anything at night, uh, <laughs> we want to be good. So I'm going to pop in and show you a couple things. Here we are inside. Um, this is a hardtop Bronco. 
So one of the neat things with it is the top right up here, it's actually convertible. So if I just undo that, undo that one, oh, one right here, undo that one, and then right here, pull that, the whole roof comes off. So it comes off in four sections, four. One, two, three, and then the entire back cap comes off, which is really neat. Um, it's got a lot of really interesting tech in it. Your giant screen where you control all your stuff through with like my CarPlay and all that stuff. And then uh, obviously everything else, it does some, some really neat stuff in it. Um, as far as space goes, uh, it's a bit bigger than our escape was. Um, room wise for the kids, you'll have to excuse, I got grocery bags and some stuff back here. Um, we'll be able to fit three across because what we'll end up doing is um, when, by the time that the third one comes around, uh, Grayson will be big enough, he'll sit in the middle here and then we'll have Mackenzie over here and then we'll put the new car seat right there. Um, Rainbow can kind of go over the details because she's my car seat expert. I just kind of buy the one that she tells me to. But um, we've we've sat the kids in it. We've done some measurements. Size-wise in the back, it's going to work really good. Don't get me wrong, it's not a huge vehicle. It's kind of like, um, it's a little bigger than like a Jeep Wrangler because that's kind of the same same idea of what this one is. Um, but there's a lot, a lot of room in here. I have no complaints. Um, yeah, I like I've I have what 887 kilometers on it so far. We've had it a little bit over a week. Uh, done a couple drives into Calgary. It's really neat so far. I'll show you a couple more things. You'll have to excuse the mess, but the back opens like this, and then you get your um, thing up here. Hi. Open this up, and then you have all your room here in the back. Uh, Grayson's Among Us toys, a kite that I pulled from my old car, grocery bags, a couple leftover of Rainbow's tea boxes, uh, buy them. These two are still available, 24 day and a 12 day box, they're beautiful. Um, but yeah, this whole back cap comes off, so this frame here is all you would see once this entire thing comes off, because this is about as convertible as you can possibly get. It is, uh, it, it, it's a blast. I ordered this thing with the big engine option because it comes in two sizes. So it's fast because I like going fast. Um, but no, like I don't really have anything ultra specific to kind of go over. Like, uh, you know, they're new, they're neat. I love it so far. I have very few complaints. A little bit of wind noise because the, the hard top is obviously segmented. It's not as solid. So it's a little bit noisier on the road, but it's not terrible by any means. Like it's, it's, it's not bad at all. But uh, no, in general, I uh, I love and adore this thing. It is my favorite car that I have ever driven. Could not recommend it enough. And again, uh, tell me what color you think it is. I'm interested to hear it. Yes, here in the back, like I said, I have a bunch of stuff down here, uh, but there is a decent amount of room. Now the weird thing with the Broncos that we're also getting used to a little bit is uh, your, uh, window buttons and the lock me unlock button and all that stuff is here in the center because these doors actually come off all four you just undo this little clip you undo this bolt down here and you can take the whole door off and drive without doors so even up here at the front here's all my mirror controls my window controls all that stuff and it's here centered because there's nothing really on the door itself it's uh, all pretty neat uh, but the big thing and the most important thing uh, button warmers and hand warmers for uh, me for my heated steering wheel and stuff like that because uh, Yeah, this is an outer bank. So it's a really nice one and there you have it I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of our new vehicle. We are so excited um, As you can tell again, this is our family vehicle. This is our vehicle We had just swapped all of the stuff from our previous vehicle previously we drove a Ford Edge and um, the Bronco surprised us. So my husband just kind of took everything out of the other vehicle and popped it into the back of the Bronco today. So um, that's why it's kind of like full of junk. <laughs> Sorry. But also it's real life. We have kids um, and that is what our vehicle can sometimes look like. So a couple points. I, like Cody said, we have a couple of different plans on how to fit all three of our kids into this vehicle when our new baby uh, decides to make an appearance when <laughs> when that happens. But this is big enough across that you could fit 
um, three car seats across if you chose the right kinds of car seats. So I'm going to do a little bit play of playing around, but I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on when I get pregnant, what kind of car seat I decide to go with, what fits most comfortably. Um, it'll just depend on a few things. If my son is still in his booster seat, because he doesn't pass the five-step test for going into the seatbelt yet, um, then that will change what we decide a little bit, but there's still lots of time for him to grow and he tends to have really big growth spurts, so I'm sure by the time that another baby comes along, we will he'll probably just be in a seatbelt. Um, but of course, I'll keep you guys posted about that. I will share with you in vlogs in the future about what is working with the car seat situation. So we've only had it for a week, but we are so excited to take it on a few adventures. I just have this vision in my head of our Bronco in the hoodoos in Drumheller. I just think it would look so pretty. I have major plans to go on hiking trips, adventure trips with the family, um, camping. I'm so excited because there are so many small little details about the Bronco that I absolutely love and I'm really excited to use and utilize both with kids and going on adventures. Cody didn't mention this, but one of, one of my personal favorite like small details of the Bronco is that it is so well thought out with storage. There are small areas of storage just placed everywhere. I love that like the compartments in the doors and everything are all this really heavy duty kind of mesh stretchy netting instead of like a carved out pocket in the door. I find those are bulky, so if there's nothing in there, there's extra space and um, they stretch really far so you can fit a lot in them. But I love that there's like little, little pockets and little nooks to just put lots of things in. <laughs> because if you're a parent, you understand that you have a lot of stuff that goes with you when you bring kids anywhere, no matter how old they are. Um, so that's one of my really favorite subtle things about the Bronco so far. I love the seat colors. I love obviously the main color. Cody had said that the Bronco's not too loud, it's not too bad, but he's like more critical I think. Um, I don't find it very loud at all. I really see a small difference between the noise level of our normal regular topped vehicle and the Ford Bronco. So we drove like a, a new, I think it was like, I think it was our, ours was a 2019 or a 2020 edge. Um, yeah, the, the noise difference is really not that bad. We have roof racks on ours. We ordered it with roof racks because we'll probably use it again. We do a lot of adventuring. We do a lot of camping. Um, and it was a little bit noisier with the roof racks on naturally, but when we took them off, I don't find that there's a huge noise difference with it being a removable top. And of course, I will be sure to vlog the day that we it is finally warm enough in the spring next year that we can take our first cruise with the top off. I'm so excited for that. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed a little walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed Cody vlogging, that you guys don't get that very often. He used to vlog a lot more, but he's so good at walking through vehicles and just showing different specs. I think he did a great job, so give him some thumbs up for put him, putting himself out there and vlogging for me. Uh, I really appreciate it because now that we're sitting here and he's home, it's totally dark out and we wouldn't have been able to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, please remember, I'm just a normal, regular human who happens to vlog. I'm not a car review person. This is not the channel for it. So if you're here just for the car video, please be gentle with me. I'm just like a regular person who bought a Bronco <laughs> and we're using it for our family. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, we'll see you tomorrow. If you like what you see, as always, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so that you get updates because I know some people have not been getting notified when I post a video and it's Vlogmas, so I am posting daily whenever I can. Um, but yeah, until the next one, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.